Okay, so this is day one of Vlogmas. I cannot believe that I'm doing this. Yes. I'm having gumbo. Anybody want some gumbo? Y'all, this is like my favorite soup. Y'all see that? This is the Campbell's gumbo. It's chicken and sausage in here. Z-ball. Okay. I feel I'm trying to make new makeup that I'm going to talk about in December. I think I have a bronze helmet today, but I'm, I think I did a little a little bit too much with the bronzer today, but I'm loving it. I just need to like <laughs> take it down a notch, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm going to enjoy some gumbo. I'm going to edit and we're going to get a vlogmas kicking and ready. December is my birthday month, so I think I'd rather do Vlogmas rather than, what's the other one called? Vlogtober. So, I think I'll do Vlogmas. So, I've been writing down some good ideas and um, for the new year. And I saw a quote today and it said, breathing dreams like air. And it was by F. No. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yes. So. <sighs> love that quote. Tear. <laughs> no. But uh, I'm really excited. I, I had like a meeting with my husband uh, today during like just for a break and talked about some brainstorming. And I have the most creative husband ever i was like you're a genius yes um i just got some very encouraging words from him got some very encouraging um info which i i wanted i think i want to share in a vlog about people who have like impacted my life that would be a good topic and not only in social media, but just in general. You gotta have people that inspire you, that keep you going around you. And yeah, drop the haters. So I'm gonna eat this soup and we'll get back to a vlog later. Okay. Okay, so pet peeves. We not drinking tea, but we gonna eat some soup while we talk, okay? Pet peeves. You know when you're trying to be calm and you're trying to talk to people, your coworker, you know, people, you're trying to talk to somebody and they tell you, and you're trying to be polite, you know what I'm saying? You're being polite. Your voice is monotone like this. And they're like, calm down. What do you mean calm down? Sorry. Yes. Yeah, but like, what does that mean? Calm down. I'm trying to talk to you like a human being. Maybe you want the bear or a gorilla to come out of me. Yeah, don't like when people say, calm down, calm down. I am calm. You want to see me crazy? I don't think you want the polar. That's, see, that's bipolar, okay? When you want me to go from calm down to, ooh. You don't want to see that. Don't. No. no. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Pet peeves, first day hair, <laughs> like this. This drives me wild because stuff is sticking out everywhere. People are like, oh, your hair is so beautiful, it's so nice. Not on first day hair. I look like I just ran under the Underground Railroad, picked up some dust, drove up north came back down south ate some gumbo that's what i look like today so no i don't like first day hair that's a pet peeve of mine pet peeve i wish i could start off with three four day hair looking like i had three four day hair every day but uh, we can dream excuse me that was the inside see i did a lady burp did y'all see that you just don't go ah you know <laughs> you do the lady burp the lady burp is like you do the little pet, you know? Mm -hmm. So, 
one more pet peeve and then we'll talk about something we love because I can't I, I have to switch it to like a positive and on positive enough. okay another pet peeve of mine right now <laughs> Joseph knows that everyone hates this <laughs> but when he comes out of his room the door is open he goes everybody's like ah it drives everybody crazy and he loves it he just like starts laughing because uh, i noticed elijah is a different child okay if you have a nice sweet mannerable first child i don't want to say expect the worst for the second but that second one oh jesus it's gonna keep you on your knees praying to the lord speaking in tongues going you it, second child gonna make you a prayer warrior that's what that's gonna happen okay he came in lord that's a whole nother vlog okay the way that he was born but anyway whew. <laughs> anyway scratching a, a wall or a table or like a chalkboard <gasps> that's a bad peeve it drive me crazy okay in the name of jesus please deliver i hope he get delivered from that quick Okay, positive. I love being around positive people. I love giving compliments. And you know what? I don't kiss face when I give compliments. I feel like when you give a compliment, it does something. It's a release in you. I feel like it also keeps you humble because you're not everything. Um, and I'm, when I say you, I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about you in general, like population, the world in general. Okay? It keeps you. And let me let me turn this um because my arm's starting to hurt oh god but um it keeps you humble i feel like um giving a compliment is it's a way to make somebody's day like how many times oh i met someone and they was snarling at me no, i didn't even do anything i was look i was minding my own business talking to somebody else and I, I remember this was like years ago the girl looked at me and was like she I saw her but she didn't see me looking at her so I was like and I feel like with people you can always find a compliment I don't care how much you don't like them okay I feel like I don't want to say my job is to bring out the best but my I feel like look at the best in a person helps you not concentrate in the work looking at the worst of them so yeah that was like me it was a troll move but what I did was like the girl had on some slamming shoes I don't care uh, I don't care what her attitude was so I saw her shoes I was like girl those shoes are they everything you know in so many words and she was like, you should have saw her. She went from to, oh, real, thank you. Like, and you know what? I don't even know if the attitude was towards me. Maybe something before I met her. Because she didn't even know me. She didn't even know me. And maybe she was just having a bad day. Maybe she had just argued with her husband or her boyfriend. Or maybe somebody had just hit her car. She was in a car accident. Because that happens a lot in L.A being rear-ended or something i don't know maybe she fought traffic before she got to the event where we were at but all i have to say is she made a 180 when i told her that compliment and i just learned something in that moment is not to take a reaction from a person so personal especially if it's not initially uh brought on by you so yeah that is the lesson that I received in that. And from then on, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give compliments. It makes me feel good that I can help make someone stay because that might be the only compliment. People aren't dishing out compliments. And I'm not saying that that's just something that um, I plan. Yeah, I actually do like giving compliments. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't kiss face. I will tell the truth. And when I give a compliment, it's not like, ooh, let me just like go dig no if it is what it is if the girl got a nasty attitude but her hair is fly I'm gonna give her a compliment sometimes I feel like the best way to train the no 
I don't want to say that. The best way to let someone know what character to bring out of them is for you to be it. So, like, I don't want to do all of that, girl. You got to say, no. I think giving as a, it's always worked. It's always worked. Either the person, even if they have a, still a snotty attitude, they will leave my presence. Okay? And a lot of times what I do is I'll give a compliment and leave. Because it's not like I'm waiting for you. Um, I have had people that when I give a compliment, they're like, <laughs> I had somebody say, I know. I'm like, okay. Then other people will go, I know. Like if they're a friend. And I remember giving one of my friends a compliment. I was like, that'll be the last one I give you. Because you haven't, what happened to the thank you? I know. What is that? Okay. And it wasn't, I, I get it. You know, sometimes you can play like that or whatever, but she said it all the time. So, yeah. I don't know. I think compliments are a great way to just um, make somebody's day. And I like making people's day. I don't want to be the person that just like ruins somebody's day. First of all, don't. Why would somebody have that power over you? But at the same time, you know, I don't know. How did this become like a Tony Robbins moment? Okay. All right. Bye, y'all. Hope you had a great first day of Vlogmas. Let me know down in the comments what is the best compliment that somebody's given you or the best compliment that you have given someone else. Let's talk. Let's start off day one of Vlogmas because Christmas is about giving. We will talk about giving. What about the first compliment that you gave somebody that you remember that gave that you received a unexpected reaction? Talk about it in the comments below. Love you guys. See you on Zay Adults.